Okay, it's recording. All right, there we go. Sorry, I had to make sure. I don't want to start awkwardly, you know, have me, like, right in the middle of a hello just start like that. What is YouTube? It is your boy, Clash Gaming. Sorry for the drought once again. Um, yeah, it's weird. It's a pretty bad if I had to say that the first thing, but hear me out. Mm, I've been uh, doing a lot of research. Don't get nothing wrong by it. I know where that could go. Uh, in, in the imagination of, of the people, so without even going too imaginative any further, I j just want to do a. Um, actually, I had a flu when I when I was playing with this world right here. I had the flu. Please, uh, I thought it was a cold at first. You know, it was actually a flu virus. Uh, but uh, I I I, I kind of like paused bullying from it a little bit, and then I got back on it as soon as I got back to school. You know, my free time. And uh, I was showing what I've been building to other people. Now, I've actually uh, added quite a bit of things, even if they're not entirely finished. Tell me by the lag, I might as well need to turn down the video settings here again. Next rain rate. Okay, graphics fast. Oh, they're, okay, let me turn the clouds off. Okay, there we go. That should be a lot better. Sorry if it's laggy, guys. I'm sorry if it lags. Oh, there we go. This is our first feature. Um, so this is actually a dropship um, deployment um, balcony, you know. But and how is is this? It is supposed to work. Is um, people will um, go f go from the car garage into here, um, or from the uh, from a ghost in Warthog Storage Center here. Or a vehicle storage center in here, which is actually in progress right now, which I'll, which is I'll, that'll be the next feature I show, and they'll enter uh, through an entrance, which I'll, which will be right around in that corner right there, and then they can be they then they can get picked up at, by drop ships as they may. But I keep the railing there for now, as as to actually make it look okay. Um, now inside is a little, eh, not not so well made, but the floor. It took me a while to make the floor, but basically the technique I used was, if you go in the bottom, uh, to formulate the, the aspect that the, that gives it this, I actually had to checker the paints in the, in the, the magenta, let's see, let's see, was it, oh, yeah, purple stained, I was supposed to say magenta, but it's, uh, purple stained paints checkered with blocks, and on top of those blocks would be... Gla the glass blocks and checkered in between the, the end rods which I placed on top of the uh, blocks are more uh, more blocks of glass and then to finally add it all on I basically made a final layer just one big slab of glass block essentially uh, and uh, because I wanted to make it look good from any perspective well, let me let me take a quick view from here this is what it's kind of going to look like. I, I, I wonder, though, if I should remove this uh, this right here, because... Here, I'll even remove a small section to give comparison, for comparison purposes. Say so, yeah, a very small section like that. Because I actually want to see how good it would look. So this is how it... Uh, I, that's the section I removed. Um, this is how it looks right here. Uh, please answer me that in the comment section. Do you want me to leave this uh, band here, or um, remove, or to keep it there, keep it there, or remove it? That's what I'm asking, essentially, because it looks weird at several angles. And it, I and originally I wanted these to show. Actually, maybe, may I might I might keep I might keep this part over here, and remove the rest uh, until it stops showing. Well, sure, it might look a little weird, but bah humbucks to looking weird, right? All right. Yeah, and um, the top access. Now, if you do, if you do remember from the last video, I made a doorway here. Then I started building something like a path like this. I eventually made that to, as the top of a wall to make to once again give more access to drop ships coming in. Considering this is a Minecraftified build, you can fit two dropships pretty pretty easily. Uh, you, you could have a spear class dropship uh, be picking up 
uh, troops from this from this here. Then you got Pelicans up here, um, and 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 I decided to um, to use uh, the Krennel over here, I believe, for actually um, getting out to the other side of the wall, and hollowed this one out so for immediate access with this um, with this glass purple block. Um, purple, see, it's a purple bricks. Yes, yeah, purple block, not brick. And, uh, and then I filled the rest of this in for, for once again, holding personnel. I, I, I wanted to make sure, like, no vehicles could actually make it up over here. Because they're supposed to be picked up from the storage facilities, which I might as well make another, an, another, um, area for. Essentially. So, and, and I want to make sure, like, a worker's buggy does not, like, does not drive in over here. Because that could be detrimental if you're trying to pack troops on. I actually started fishing this part of the roof over here. If you notice how it was before, that it was not at all like finished down here. Now it is, it, and um, I and I actually I actually thought of how to actually finish this this biosphere, leave it as it is, make staircases that look like this, um, at the corners at every individual corner, no matter how tedious it might be, and then of course make. An Ewok village in the trees. I've got to that point where I was just like, okay, bleep it. I'm just gonna make an Ewok village. I want to see how well I can bio, I can, I can bio architect. Also, for lighting purposes, I placed those there to give it a little atmosphere, and they seem to work effectively well. The lighting effect does seem to produce some kind of like shielding-like effect, almost. It almost, it's reminiscent of like an energy shield. So I'm glad that turned out correctly. And at um, support p columns, I been I began placing these purple rods. Excuse me, excuse me, Enderman. I'm talking my viewers over here. What do you say? Hey, get out of here. Hey, I'll go hey, run to the water, boy. Run to that water. Oh, you okay? You went in the. <laughs> Sorry for getting off topic. I'm just I'm just wanting to entertain here. In the water. There you go. There, got him out of there. Yeah, the actual the 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 um I actually forgot that was there. But anyway, I've um put these on for lightning purposes. I I did have a I did have a a um a potion of uh, night vision use for this. And yes, I do I have it on hard. I'm on normal. Here, I'll put it on hard. There we go. That way there may be more monsters. The mob might be noisy. And I put these down here for lighting. On every single support platform on three of the corners. I don't, I don't think I placed any over there. I'll have to check. And I and I basically um, put the end rods on there. Uh, according to what perspective you're staying from. You're staying from this, from this block here. It's got to be here. If you're staying from, say, this block has got to be here, and you're staying on that block, this block has to be here. I'm, I'm kind of making like a building basis or standard for those, so I can have a good, a good fair amount of lighting. I put, I lit, lit up that area randomly because it actually was a tunnel system, and that's the village entrance, which there's no support column for, unfortunately. All right, just uh, speed boost my way up. Eh, get up there. I've been trying to replicate this side to that side so I can fill in the gap. Over here is going to be a um, uh, probably um, a personnel aircraft loading area, you know, for fighters to deploy like banshees, and and it can also be used to load uh, to to show additional gravity lifts. And I, and I I built the uh, design to be modular in a way to look modular like how we would build a ship now with a bunch of smaller parts combined and sturdily made to make the finished product. Um, let's see. I, I I'm I, I'm no I'm saying that a lot. Okay, please, please excuse me for that. I did I already show you guys this? I took uh, a quick run through, but basically I I kind of made a ceiling here. Decorated the end rod lighting po lighting postures except for these two right here, 
And I added a ladder here with a cleverly made entrance that goes down underground here, which you can get back up here and likely on the other side, likely uh, back up here again. So you can take a full circle. I, 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 remember, I actually wanted this to be a fairly good full FPS map for, for, uh, for the Halocraft mod. This, that was the original purpose of this map. But now it's expanded to be so much bigger. Alright. That was essentially what I added. And I started actually um, filling in the, uh, kind of like the force space up here. But I did not know how to progress under this entire geothermal plant. I really did not know how to do that properly, or rather, like, how to do it and make it look good. Once again, I add that there so you can have access to the um, balcony. All right. All right, now, to, now for the feature which I've been working on a lot. Now, when I asked my friend Zuflat about it uh, one day, um, I essentially... Um, I, I, I essentially just start added on to this tower. If you guys remember this tower, let me know. If you, don't, if you don't, I just wanted to build this tower here for Warthog storage. And I realized I couldn't do it all on one floor. So I tried building it up to make multiple floors. And I, when I realized the shape would make it very severely tough, I decided to try and, try and give more space by like changing the shape of the roof. Which led to this right here. And yes, this and yes, this glass work here is. Tr I'm trying to translate to uh, the ramp on the next floor here, which I don't think is having too much success. But that's a whole other story. Also, let me know if you like the technique I put here with this uh, crosswalk, for lack of better terming. I um, made a ramp up here, and and here is a ghost storage room. Uh, that's right. It's for storing ghosts, primarily. Once again, I wanted a lighting fixture in here that would light up the middle, so I did that. Uh, and I wanted the rooms co to connect, so you weren't restricted to going through a certain access point in the middle. Because once again, as a first-person shooter map, you have to be able to get everywhere, anywhere. So only the most cunning players could ch could chase you, could give you a good chase. Once again, as a, and this is the front here. This is more rather the front. Uh, in, in case the two block tall is too like short for a ghost, I decided to shorten this and make it a bridge. In which I decided to decorate the the, the floor the, the uh, floor below with this kind of ceiling. Now to the to, now to down here. Now uh, this uh, is supposed to be replicating this, which this is still not entirely finished because I'm trying to have this part right here. Um, replicated to like how this would this side would more likely be you know with a lot more space at the bottom to kind of like um, to round out the bottom over here essentially yeah, this all came about when I was starting to actually develop uh, non symmetrically I actually built this chamber first and then the one below it in which yes I'm trying I'm trying to outfit it perfectly but this is how it's supposed to look like you know, like a very tight crosswalk space, almost. Now and then, now and again, you might be able to find like a grenade. You could throw a grenade up there around the room to, to tactically scare someone, or you can even just do like this, get up there and may maybe throw a grenade like that, and around the room from here. This is, and um, also the other room. And then of course you can go through here like this. I really wanted to use all the space I could while making it look like it was able to stand. And, um... I, 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 call, this the, I call this a fang ceiling right here, because it looks like a legit fang. But anyway, I wanted some way to kind of round out this little crevice here. So I decided to attach these as lighting devices, which served also to round it out a little bit. Let me know if you guys like that. Um... I've added. I actually added this 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 way this road right here, so you can get to the mortar position I built, which goes even further to the quarantine zone. Which, when I was actually I was showing my I was showing my, a fellow YouTuber called Death Gun how the TNT worked in Minecraft because he he actually wanted to know how it worked. I decided to demol demolish this entire field with a handful of TNT, 
And I, and I said, I want it, wanted it to look like damage from this mortar position, essentially. And I call this Mortar Crater Central. Oh, someone tagged on my Discord. Let me check. Uh, I, I'm, 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 okay. There we go. Sorry. Someone typed on my direct messages on Discord. Don't worry. It was not annoying at all. All right, okay. So, yeah, the potion's wearing off, which should be a good thing for more demonstration purposes. But it was so dark down here, I actually had to um, use um, this potion right here. And then I placed that there to add extra light. Man, it's not show so little time. That's, that's what I say. All right, so... Going into here, you, you could be able to hop out of here and into this chamber... Which once again is actually the which is under this crosswalk, which I actually forgot about, because that was how elaborate this build technically was. Once again, this would be a fair size like observatory, and if if um, a map maker ever needed it to be a, a sniping position, I'm pretty sure you could just punch out the glass here and keep a player right here or right here uh, as designed. I say it's a fairly ambitious build, but not too ambitious. Now, the, the sad part to me about this build is, is um, this build gets a little too close to this right here. That's the feeling I get, it's a little too close, but but I was worried it was going to hit into it, you know? In which I had another plan in case that happened, but it seems I it kind of went a little awry. Now, because the shape of this uh, tower was not exactly circular, because I could not, I could not actually get the the curve just right. I tried, I tried making a legit curve on top, you know, by tracing my finger down like this, you know, essentially, and uh, and everywhere where the uh, where my finger went, in between um, and out of and on both sides of the of the first curve, which on uh, my first attempt. Became these slots with um, glass in it, and I've eventually walled that in to make it look like this, which on the outside, which looks good on the inside. Um, all all I had to do this now is to replicate uh, that over here with all the known techniques I've done, finish this half, and then I can concentrate over here. Now, because this is a parking lot, I decided to design these slots, you know. These slots and and even a little a little somewhere to to peep, to peep out a little every once in a while to take cover. Say there's a warthog trying to blow your butt up, blow your six up. Also, I made a little entrance here, which I forgot the stairway. Let me check. Let me go stairway it. Uh, okay, that's the issue. Right, I will forget that ever happened. Stupid, I know. Is a stupid error. Alright, let me move it one back over there. And then, of course, I essentially, um, using this stairway, I modeled this curve. This, this technical curve right here, this curvature. These kind of like wall slots is what I, what I dub it. On both sides, using the, the, the staircase of this model here as a, as a model. And yes, my computer is worrying like a madman in the background. Please ignore it. <laughs> Cause my because this this build is a pretty fair size build. I say fair sized with a with a with a with a with a, with a little tin of salt. Because I know it's not my best build. But I certainly tried with it. What the heck? Oh, I forgot I broke a block over here. I forgot to fix that. That was my mistake. I guess I had so much to do that I actually uh, burnt myself out almost. Hmm. Right. Okay. And what I want to do uh, with this floor to give it the right curvature is to kind of uh, make it widen out one last time at the equator over here and have this become more like an arrow so I could finish the curve to the top 
that's te that, that was my plan with this whole from he uh, with this whole area right here, but it, it became a lot more than that eventually. Now, sadly, I had to carve a little bit of the train over here because this uh, got a little too big, a little too fast. You could say if I had to say what part of this project was most ambitious for me, it would have been this structure right here. So far, okay, I I I could be I could be uh, I I could be I could be basically basically like jinxing myself when I say that, and then I find something totally more ambitious to actually work on like that. Except it's over there too, and it's over there too, and, and it's over there too, and so on, so on. Yeah, I need water now. Dang it. <laughs> oh, man. And, um... Yeah. I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually thinking of actually building more on these krennels, you know? To connect them all with, a stru with another structure. So, what I, what I also decided to do here is to connect this balcony to... What will later be that balcony over there, essentially, uh, by by adding one more layer of lock to, to the top of this catwalk to the to the geothermal plant, and then uh, I made a balcony over here, get that got that set so no one can uh, get off, essentially. Um, I I might leave a little hole right here, in, so in case I decide to to try to pull some railing like this over here, which which I which I'll probably change um, after the end of the video, since it's not exactly completed yet. Oh wait, there we go. Get that in progress, like that. Uh... Oh, <laughs> replicating gone wrong, part one. Is that the new name of the video? Maybe, maybe not. I'll let the viewers decide that one. Maybe, maybe that. Uh, I'm, I'm just saying that, hoping you'll become a running gag. I wonder why this crenel's. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. This crenel's fine. I just could not see it behind this glass. It camouflaged. And of course, I wanted to go for railing, but I knew that no dropship could ever rear end themselves into this alone. So I decided to raise it one level up, and then made a balcony here, made this to to, ma to make an original support structure, and of course I connected this with uh, the railing up here. It's essentially look like the the end rods down here are are actually powering the railing, essentially. Because I try, because that's my attempt at some kind of like science fiction build. So, yeah. Now that now that that is out of the way, did I forget anything? Make sure. I don't. I don't think I changed anything on that on the on the geothermal biome, but I guess I should let out my plan of what I plan to do with the with like this big netting out here, you know. Also, distinguish why there might be more than one netting in this general area. So I encountered a problem when uh, when um. One basically making this wall right here, and I did not want it getting too far this way to where it would encounter. It it would actually be um, in the 70 meter blocks between this and this because I'm planning for this op empty space to be a whole like outside battlefield where players can build on. Say I decide to give out this map, essentially, you know, and. Uh, this was just here to mark it. I also wanted to, uh, also extended it that way so I could mark it better because I was, do, I had another plan too, actually to kind of um, right here that I wanted to make sure that um, th that um, over here and over here were kind of square, you know, in which I placed it right there after making sure I really strictly made sure that. That that I put, put the original boundary of the road right here, and then make sure that if you go this way, it's still going to be the same in that direct, uh, in that direct axis. Now, which, let me see. Um, okay, I, I can't open the debug menu, so I don't. I, I can't exactly distinguish what is the x and y coordinates. 
or the axes at all. Even if I even if I had to do sheer movement. Yeah, this is a pretty big build now that I think about it once or twice. And also, I kind of completed the platform of the um, traffic control tower, which I might plan to extend in in height if uh, the rest of the building gets too high. Now, what I told my friend is is this spaceport is just going to be the cradle for the actual ship that uh, that this project was named after. And yes, I do plan on rebuilding that behemoth. I actually do plan that. Hmm. Also, my fr my friend was telling me uh, 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 telling me he felt something weird with this, you know, he felt something weird ab about this particular particular like pad. He told me to keep a secret, so I'll, I'll keep a secret for him. So, but I'm just telling you that my, my friend thought that was weird. And the thing is, what led me to create this was because I saw a control panel, a hologramic control panel that looked eerily similar to this, not in the exact texture. But there was something green surrounding something blue that was surrounding something red. Um, w with something like blue, like water, which I eventually decided to make, make into this because I wanted it to be shallow water. And then, of course, something like here, something like blue in the middle, something like weirdly colored in, in, on the edges, and then something like button, red button like on the sides. And, and, and over here that helped like project the entire panel and I found I saw that in a dream and I was tinkering with it and the thing is in the dream it affected a a, a containment's climate control that's what the that, that's what it is then when my friend was talking about what he thought of it he said this looks looks this looks like the floor paneling of some um, of some meeting room you've seen before and it was always hot right in the red over here and also, and also here, and he often stood there, which I found, I, th I thought, I, I found it fairly strange, you know, I, I, I found that very strange, but yeah, right, at, right now it's conspiracy, as a conspiracy theory, not a conspiracy conspiracy, you know, the one with the tinfoil hats, oh yeah, I, I actually added the end rods down here at the intersections to to light it up a little bit, especially around the edges, and to give it a, a better feeling of depth for how big this is, you know? Because having it just dark like that uh, does not do well. Um, or actually, let me, let me guys know what you think of this, too. Like, a what specific part, you know? Kind of sewer to me what you think could be done to make this better, you know? And maybe if, if you can, you can help me, help me kind of, like, translate the vision I had for this. You know, being a big city, uh, a big spaceport, basically its own, like, very big and thriving community, essentially. Yeah, <sighs> uh, that's a lot to get off my shoulders. And my back hurts, too, because I was laying down for so long. Uh, okay, yep, my, my elbow just cracked. Uh, that's not good. Good or not, depends. I'm not an expert. And nor, nor should anyone be going to WebMD to diagnose it. <laughs> Alright. I think the best part about this build, I, th I think it's the geothermal plant, you know? Because to me, I thought it was so well designed, you know, to look like some kind of facility. I thought down here was the worst designed part of it, because once again, you got the lava down here, and that will interfere with the building process a little. But I say it was a fair build. I say it was my probably the best, considering its uh, size and also difficulty to make. Gosh, making this to make, making making this was a little difficult to the original vision, but I managed to translate it into Minecraft blocks, or I managed to Minecraftify it. Now I don't know how to expand this tunnel any further, or at least go where it's going. Maybe an entrance um, catwalk to the. Um, open field, you know, maybe that would work, and yes, um, I don't know if I show you guys this in the, in the last video, but I'll do it, I'll do it in case you're new to, new to these video series, okay, always do it for the noobs, 
out there. But so basically, something at the very large end of this area is actually the the what what is going to be a quarantine wall, all going we go, going all around. And um, this is what I got it so far. Built it a little bit on it on it over here, and um, yeah, I want to know the exact size so I know how big to make the wall because I I wanted to use the the quarantine wall from Halo Two from Sacred Icon, the mission Sacred Icon, to model this wall. And I actually wanted to either make it pure out thick wall or like a labyrinth of a wall because it's supposed to be a quarantine wall. So of course I'm going to have whatever I'm trying to keep out or in unable to meet each other unless, uh, uh, unless, uh, unless they're defenders of the uh, wall trying to keep the parasite out. Because once again, I, I once again I did use the, the the that flood mission as a model, so it would make a lot more sense. And I'm wondering if I should build a dome over all this, you know, or at least some kind of like um, glass pyramid to represent a, a, like an energy shield, you know, and they, maybe put dino, maybe put TNT inside it uh, uh, to be actually triggered by a switch, you know, that basically destroys all the glass blocks when you. Remove it from his cradle, essentially. You know, trying to reenact a bit of that Halo 2, the nostalgic, nostalgic scene. Except I don't know how to make the platform move, so that's a whole issue on its own. I made just one quarantine wall instead of two. And I decided to have a big shelf down here. So there could be a whole other base on this wall. Or even, um, or even a city, depending on how I want to envision it. After all, I want to conf I want to finish the cradle before I build the wall around the cradle. That way, I can build a ship, and it's in, in, in a glorious setting. And yes, the seventy block um, build zone, um, the custom build zone, not for like strictly like construction like this, but like for, like for custom custom like builds. Of battlefields and um, scenery will be done in, in, in a seventy block, um, a seventy block radius of every part of the wall, essentially. This and that's not a part of the wall. That's actually a part of a. That's actually the part of a ghost tunnel, which I dis which I have not actually um, worked on any further because I'm worried that I might accidentally hit hit this uh, hit the debuff zones, the the debuff zone. As I'd prefer to term it, and and, and there'll be a bummer if I had to destroy it all again, because like I did with that other wall over there. Overall, this wall is very big, and this will be just the uh, tip of the cake or iceberg. I'm thinking of actually leaving a hole around here, and and then having like a see see where is this place been in the middle of all of this? Man, make sure. So if it starts right here, about, uh, see, one, two, three, one, two, three, all right. So this is fairly, this is fairly, um, on the bottom right. I might actually put a facility, um, at this elevation of those, like, right about here for, say, like, um, maybe, um, getting down to the bottom floor of the biosphere, because once again, getting up here is not easy. I mean, you could use a single, the singular access point up there, but that's too hazardous, especially because that might be an actual balance issue of the map. Especially if someone wants to play ter a game of territory or capture the flag, that would be a tough time to actually produce. When I'm playing with the space between here is to make a, make a banshee hangar, essentially. You know, which is why I I I I had this awning right here. You know, that's it. That way I could actually um, possibly even have access into the banshee hangar using this little area right here. So, say uh, a soldier drives onto on, onto the uh, base on duty and needs to get in, get in a um, a banshee now, they, he would have to get out of his car. Go into the hangar, find his banshee, and then fly it. Fly it out, maybe through a hole right here if this is not too tall. Or maybe, maybe something else. 
other, you know. Because once again, I could easily just make this another corridor. Um, or storage room. Above the main, like, the, the, I call this the flag corridor because how beautifully decorated it, it, I call it is. Man. I got so much to do in Minecraft and out of Minecraft. I hope you guys like this because, man, I, I'm, I'm sure I'm enjoying building this. Even if I think it's a little tedious every once in a while. By the way, how, how the how the how are the monsters spawning down there, down under under the uh, pyramid ramp? Okay, because I, I put on hard mode, so there should be a lot more monsters out. A lot less is that's probably because the sun's been out. Let's be honest, sun's probably been out. See what part uh, is never so like brazen with uh. I mean, I did light up this area, so that's not uh, applicable. True that. That too. Okay, it might it might be at the ghost ramp, or it's not. Okay, well, I'll have to. Well. I'll have to say say that after I get done up uploading this video, after I get done uploading this video, I'll have to have to basically say that that hard mode actually proves because I actually never really uh, saw like more monsters being in hard mode or hardcore, you know, maybe, maybe probably because I'm often hiding at, at night from them, but in creative mode I don't see them that often in hard mode, probably because I'm always checking in the daytime, which is the terrible thing to do. But otherwise, I will go ahead and uh, I will be um, right um, stopping the video recording right here. So yeah, yeah, man, such long, such a video. Well, I hope you guys liked uh, how I'm proceeding with this build, or at least it's are slightly impressed because man, I am going through a lot just for this. Not, not, not saying I'm, uh, man, I sound so enjoyed by saying that. I sound so enjoyed by saying that. Oh, man. All right. Well, uh, yeah, I will stop recording here and, uh, good luck. This is your boy, Clyrus Gaming, and I'm out. Twizzles. Also, oh, wait, wait. I forgot I had a newer outro. Okay. I remember it now. Okay. Good luck, or Ubi Sakwa, as I as 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 in the alien language of my novel, because I I am writing a novel that has a whole separate alien language in there, and Ubi Sakwa means good luck, and there's also a warrior's prayer, so good hunting out there. I'm out.